Well, major cuts from the federal government mean airports here won't have a safety measure many used to. The FAA has to cut $637 million, so they're shutting down control towers at 149 airports. That includes the city airports in New Braunfels, San Marcos, and Georgetown. Our Sophia Beausoleil spoke with pilots there who say now they're going to have to be extra careful. Dave, pilots I spoke to with say on beautiful days like today, there's a lot of traffic on the runway and in the air. The Georgetown Municipal Airport got a control tower about five years ago. There was a major push to get it because of a mid-air collision that happened back in 2004. Some say these cuts are going back in the wrong direction when it comes to safety. It's definitely much safer with the tower. Clark Thurman has been flying airplanes at the Georgetown Municipal Airport for years. He has seen it change and even knows what it's like to fly without an air traffic control tower. We all flew here for decades without a tower and the pilots are, who were flying then were accustomed to using a common frequency that they announced their positions on so that everybody knows where everybody else is. But that's not always perfect and the tower uh, made that a lot more rigorous. Pilots are going to have to go back to the old ways. The Federal Aviation Administration will close 149 control towers across the country at small airports. That includes the tower here in Georgetown. It's part of the government's effort to tighten its belt when it comes to spending. There may be a little transition phase. This flight supervisor says pilots will have to be more vigilant with their radios, communication, and visuals while in the air and on the ground. The tower itself just organized everything further out so that everything flowed into the airport uh, with some measure of safety. Um, there will still be safety without the tower. It just puts the shifts, the responsibility onto the pilots. For pilots like Thurman, the changes won't stop him from hitting the open skies. Now, the cuts are not only impacting pilots. Six air traffic controllers will be without a job. The closures are supposed to happen on April 7th, which is in two weeks. In the studio, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News.